I'm Rod Weatherby. I'm Dave Noel, and you're watching Nutshell.tv. What are we talking about today? We are talking about Ask Science. Um, there's a neat little place on Reddit called Ask Science, and basically uh, Reddit users put in little questions and the community goes forth and answers them. Sometimes the answers are a little strange and sometimes they're bang on the money. So we're gonna try to answer those questions ourselves. So today's question is, how long will it take for a hot thermos of coffee to freeze in the vacuum of outer space? Five seconds. No, it actually, you would think that because the temperature in, in outer space without air and, and ambient uh, light and stuff actually varies wildly. So if you're in direct sunlight, you're looking at like 300 degrees Celsius out where we are at, you know, at Earth's distance from the sun. But if you're not in the direct sunlight, you're looking at probably close to absolute zero. So it's not a really Because there's easy... nothing to carry the heat. Exactly. Right, okay. So you're not exactly looking at a, a really easy answer here, but it turns out that there is a really interesting uh, mathematical formula. It's called Stephen Boltzmann's Law, and it basically talks about how black bodies, a black body is something that doesn't actually have its own internal mechanism for generating heat, how fast that will actually dissipate its own heat. Say it's probably about 50 degrees because you're not going to drink a thermos of coffee that's at 100 degrees, you'll burn your face off. Celsius. Celsius, yes. Okay. So the idea is with the radiant temperature, if you plug in all the numbers in Boltzmann's Law, you end up with this, this uh, time of about three to four hours. Really? It, it takes to actually cool the coffee from 50 degrees Celsius down to zero. Okay, so that's seen in Space Odyssey 2001 where the astronauts jump from uh, one capsule to another without their spacesuits. That They can do that. Yeah, they can do that. I mean, they won't look pretty afterward because they'll be walking hickey, but, uh, you know, theoretically they wouldn't freeze to death immediately. Um, but the really cool thing about this is there is real world experience where people have actually stowed away in the landing gear of airplanes. And as you go up, like where the passenger jets fly, it's like, I think 11 kilometers up, something like that. Close to 40,000 feet. Yeah, it's, it's, it's way up. So there. I'm imperial on your metric. Yeah. I don't, I'm sorry about that. It's okay. Okay. We, we have a big audience. No, we don't. <laughs> Um, so anyway, up, up around there, the temperature is about minus 40 degrees Celsius. But these people actually didn't freeze. Uh, they, they passed out due to lack of oxygen. But because they were in such a rarefied atmosphere, they didn't freeze solid because of the rarefied atmosphere. There just wasn't enough air around them to conduct the heat away from their bodies. Oh, okay. So if you're only relying on radiant heat, which is essentially infrared rays coming off your body in a, in a complete vacuum in the dead of space with no sunlight around, you're looking at... Uh, three or four hours of, uh, of comfy above freezing temperatures. Okay, so we've gone into outer space a lot lately. We've got a space station up there. Has anybody ever done an experiment tossing a coffee thermos? I have no idea. Space? Okay. I don't know. I'm Rod Weatherby. I'm Dave Noel, and you're watching Nutshell.tv.